People talk about racism a lot. A whole lot. But they don't even know what it is. Most people think it's just hate. Yeah, like, I don't like your skin color, so I don't like your race. But that's way too simple. Way, way too simple. Racism is more sophisticated than that. Of course, it's difficult to understand because most people don't even know what it is. It's It's a a system. system. A system designed to hurt one group of people at the same time it helps another. Now Now that's that's racism. racism. This system, the more melanin you have, the more you're criminalized. I don't think they understood that. In this system, the more color you have, the more you're treated badly. Um, I'm not sure they understood that either. In this system, black people are hurt the most, while white people are hurt the least. What? That's why racism is also called white supremacy. I think you scared them. (laughs) Now, don't be afraid of those words. I know people get nervous when you say things like that. I don't. White supremacy, white supremacy, white supremacy. Okay, well, let us explain. In the world, the whole entire world. All seven continents. Yes, and all of the countries within them, white people are the minority. This means that there are more people with melanin than people without. But white people, wait, we shouldn't say white people. We should say people who classify themselves as white. I was thinking that too, but that would just confuse them more. We don't want to lose them. Okay. White people control most of the world's functions. Like the banks, the lands, the laws. Yes, and all of the resources in the continent of Africa. That's a mostly melanated land, by the way. Why do you think that is possible? Racism. Racism is how blacks populate about 12% of the U.S. economy, but 38% of the prisons. Racism is how blacks have an unemployment rate twice that of whites. Racism is how black children are two times as likely to be placed in special education than whites. Let's stop. They can look up those numbers themselves. Well, you get the point. Racism is a system. It's also a business. A very lucrative business. That's one reason why black people were able to be enslaved. This white supremacy started and all of a sudden, We have the guns, therefore you have no rights. (laughs) That voice was horrible. But they get the point. No, they don't. Let me explain. In racism, white supremacy, you can live next door to your white friend. You can both go to the same school, have the same fights, and do the same drugs, but you will be the only one to go to jail. That's true. He'll get like 15 chances to make a mistake, and you'll get like one. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I have to grow up and make no mistakes. I know, right? But that's why we have to tell them, because they don't know. At least it seems like they don't. People act like racism came illegal a long time ago. Not because my granny was my age before that happened. Well, hopefully you get the system of racism. White supremacy. You'll know exactly what you're dealing with. So, if one rich white man calls me the N-word, he's not a racist? Well, he may be racist because he knowingly participated in the system, but it's much bigger than that. Don't focus on one person. Focus on the whole system. Yeah, because that one person could get talked about for weeks. Free publicity. But he won't lose his job. And if he does lose his job, he won't lose his money. Right. So focus on the system. Speaking of money, that money is the same money passed down from the fruits of free labor supplied off the blood, sweat, and tears of my ancestors' backs. That's true. They said numbers don't lie. Well, check the numbers. 1860, 2014, same money. Some people think that if a black person uses a hate word against a white person, that it's reverse racism. What? Reverse what? We just explained racism. It does not benefit black people ever. It's a system against them, whether they help it or not. I know, but some people believe that. Well, there's no such thing as reverse racism. Okay, back to racism. White supremacy. What are we to do? First, we have to respect ourselves. Nothing comes before that. You mean, I shouldn't look at another black man walking down the street and be afraid he's going to rob me? Hmm, those media images. You mean, I shouldn't call my friends curse words even though the rap song said it was cool? We don't control that either. You mean, I shouldn't get mad at my friend because he's not struggling like me? You get the point. Just don't do it. If you can't uplift each other, then just don't do it. That's helping the system of racism. White supremacy. Ignoring racism won't make it go away. Just because you ignore it 
doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So if you're not working to end white supremacy, you're helping to promote it. Please don't promote it because my future depends on it. Don't promote racism. Let's end it together. Self-respect and self-educate. Say it with me. Self-respect and self-educate. It starts with you and that's the start of ending racism. White supremacy. Now ask yourself, will you help to promote it or end it? And you better pick the right answer too.